hi, it's Stacy again. Now, um, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. I think I say that on every video that I do. Um, I just wanted to do like, can't even see this is an update. I just uh, kind of want to talk about things. And really, I don't know what I want to talk about. Surprise, I am not actually drunk. Um, I know I have watched my last video that I posted. It was um, rather horrifying. I was really, really, really drunk. I do apologize for that. Um, it was a bad time. So let's talk about, like, I guess, dating. Why not? Sure. Um, so, I mean, if you're kind of in the same, like, area as me, obviously, if you're watching this, you probably are. Going through transitioning and everything like that. I mean, it does kind of, uh, puts a hindrance on your dating, like, life. Mine was already put on a hindrance because, I mean, until recently, I never had a date or a boyfriend or even on the other side, a girlfriend. I never even had a relationship until I hit 27 years old. Too many things factoring in, all that other BS. I just didn't want to. And now I'm finally getting into that, like, you know, dating area. Um, so far I've been on two dates, pretty much two dates, two dates. Yeah. A total of two. Now they both were disastrous. Obviously my, f my first boyfriend, everything like that, that went downhill really quickly. Um, I kind of hate his guts now. Never will talk to him again. Um, and then my second date, uh, was with a guy that, I mean, I like him, but I don't think I like, like him. And that kind of confused me because I really thought I would like really like him. I just had to meet him and it, everything would just be perfect. That's not how it went. Uh, not at all. Um, yeah, that was not the best date ever, nor a good date. He promised that he's going to take me on another one that's going to be fancy and it's going to make me feel great and I'm going to feel like impressed. But yeah, that's the last time I heard from him. Um, cause I mean, I'm not talking to him and he seems to not want to make any more movements uh, going towards me, even though he says he does, but I guess that's just him being either afraid or he doesn't like me, whatever. I don't care. I've been single for 27 years. I don't give a shit about waiting. Um, and I don't care about monetization either. Um, so dating, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm new to the whole entire thing. Kissed a total of one person exactly one person no two people right my last date was a kiss at the very end it was an awkward quick kiss he forced it on um i didn't hate it but i also didn't really like it it was kind of like uh yeah like you just kissed me okay that works <laughs> so now i'm just kind of stuck in the situation where i'm trying to figure out what what is, like, how do you date? Like, even more so, like, being that I'm transgender, I mean, it makes things so confusing. I don't know if I, I don't, it's hard. I don't know how to date. I don't know how to do any of that. Like, I'm literally, like, a newbie at all of it. So, obviously, guys do hit on me, things like that, but I always get, like, super, super shy and stuff like that, and I kind of walk away with a giant smile on my face or something like that because I'm too afraid to actually turn around and actually talk to them for more than just a small conversation, mainly because I am trans and I'm, I'm afraid of getting with a guy that doesn't like know that I'm trans right off the bat. And it's not like I'm going to go up to like a hot guy or something like that being, hi, my name is Stacy. I am a transgender female. You want to go out on a date with me? Because, yeah, that can turn out so many different ways. 
So I don't really know how to go on that site or anything like that. Yes, I've watched tons of things about dating and read things about dating and kind of everything. But the one thing that everybody knows that does it is that reading it and doing things like that does not mean anything of the same nature as actually dating. Yeah. So basically the first date I actually went on that you could call an actual date was we, I went over to his house, drove my car over to his house and he made me beans and rice because I'm vegetarian. Obviously, Mm. It was, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I am vegetarian, but beans and rice is basic. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, it was kind of a weird, like, date. He smokes, like, the other stuff and, like, all that. And I'm not really into that at all. I mean, I don't like smoking. I don't like doing those things. It's not really my, my thing. I don't really like it. It's not fun to me and I don't really, I could care less being around a person who actually does it. But, um, yeah, so basically I'm just working on my dating scene and my, my ideas on dating and trying to get things figured out. And that's hard. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to talk to guys. I don't know. I, I, I know how to play games and I know how to be attractive. I mean, I've gotten that part down, but I'm too afraid to like make the first move forward because I'm trans. <laughs> There's no other reason. Honestly, I know that's an excuse and everything, but it, it's my, my excuse and uh, uh, my reason, especially with the things that are going on in the world right now and everything. And we're like, trans people are like bad to a lot of people. It's like, you never know who you're actually talking to until they find out that you're trans and then you find out really quickly who you're actually talking to because then they either go oh, that's perfectly fine or you become the first target yeah i don't want to um find out so i'm always scared to date <sighs> but i don't know um <sighs> yeah i mean i i have honestly no clue i just don't i i, I don't know I don't know about that situation at all. But anyways, um, I'm not going to make a long, long video, like 18 minutes or something like that. This is going to be about like probably like 8 to 10 minutes, um, something around that area. But uh, I mean, I was kind of thinking about doing like a live stream or something like that. Like maybe if people would actually, actually like to like, uh, I don't know, ask me questions or something like that or maybe I can talk to somebody. I don't know. Really? I mean, not really trying to become a gigantic YouTube person or something like that. That's not really my goal. I am a supervisor at a company. So I, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm doing perfectly fine in that area. I just like making these videos like what my original one said. Um, I'm just doing them for like casual updates. I did say that I was going to do it for a year. It is now a year and four months. Um, you see my montage thingy. That was a full year, I do believe. That was like four months ago that I posted that up. That was a full year of transitioning. And this is four months later. Huh. And I actually am really, really, really glad. I mean, I look back at the old pictures and I'm like, oh my, wow, I look so ugly. I look so horrible, even when I thought I was looking good. Like right now, I think I look actually decent. I think I look cute. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I think I look cute. And you have to feel that way about yourself or anybody else to ever like you. But um, I thought that like five, ten months ago. So yeah. I'm probably not as cute as I think I am right now, but I'm also not as ugly as I think I am right now, but I'm definitely not as ugly as I was a year ago. <laughs> I'm definitely not that ugly. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, anybody who goes through the transition thing, they all know that it takes about two to three years for the full transition. So, I mean, I already got everything going on here and I'm getting like more better. I've lost all my strength. Look at those muscles. <laughs> They're totally, <laughs> They're gigantic. I don't have anything left. It's all gone. I don't, I don't have any strength. A gallon of milk can destroy me now. So there's a lot of things that have changed. A year and four months, amazing things. Face has changed, body has changed. My voice, still exactly the same. Um, of course, I didn't actually try it. When I was first making the video, my voice was horrible. But that's also because I smoke and drink all the time and worked outside in the scorching hot sun. So things have changed. But at this time, that would be the end of my video. It is definitely great to be making another video that I'm not drunk on or completely depressed over the fact that I got um, rejected by the guy that I really liked. So... Hopefully, I don't do any more drunken videos. I don't really want to do drunken videos. I don't like doing drunken videos. I like being sober. <laughs> I only get drunk every once in a while. But um, anyways, if you'd like to, like maybe me do a like live stream or something like that, or anything where I can like talk to people, or you can ask me questions if you're somebody who's new and transitioning, and anything like that, I am more than happy to either answer any questions or talk to anybody who's going through all the situations that I've gone through. I know I've definitely gone through a long journey and I'm still going through that journey. I'm still like fighting every, every single way that I possibly can. Um, and I'm finally getting to where I'm happy. Because obviously I can have a smile on my face the whole entire time I talk. So I'm definitely not um, as depressed as I used to be. I used to be really depressed like all the time. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you want to see a live stream or anything like that. I'll post a date if um, enough people say yes. I mean, I know I don't have that many people that watch my videos. But I mean, if there's a good enough amount of people that I know that they'll want to watch or ask me questions or something like that, yeah, sure, I'll do a live stream. Anyways, I um, hope all of y'all had a lovely holiday, and I hope you have a lovely weekend as well. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.